Today, we have a course taken from the YouTube comments. I'm guessing it was probably on the TGC Tour forums too at some point, but today we have a course called Castle Gardens made by Lucky Number 1289. I mean, as you can see, it's got a pretty, pretty good rating. Four and a half stars, 2.8K plays already. And just looking at the picture, I think this is going to be a good one. For those of you playing along at home, though, we are playing from the back tees, which are white, pin four, default, everything across the board, which is firm fairways, firm greens, fast, green speed, time of day is morning, weather is clear. This is a par 72 course here at Castle Gardens. Let's go out and hopefully hit a nice, solid round. Oh, yeah. This is the stuff right here this is our view of the first tee and it is setting the tone nicely but look at what the hell we have behind us look at this clubhouse holy shit all the planting here in the front got a, like a courtyard area like a lounge section we got our putting green here this it's still going look at this this is magnificent Good job on putting the houses together too and made it make it look, you know, at least somewhat presentable. Sometimes when you start mashing houses together or like clubhouses together, you could, you know, it could look just a little strange, but this looks really good. It looks like it was put together really nicely. Like mode sections too. So this is the entrance coming in, you know, as you're driving in here. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm going to spend a little bit of time on this because I mean, this is just this is a fantastic clubhouse. This is the view you got coming in. Then it just completely opens up onto the course. Oh, that's going to be good coming back. Looking at that. I'm guessing that's probably nine. It's probably nine. That's probably 18 over here. The actual course, though, lots of water in play. Greens look very, very well done. They really contour nicely into the water, looks like, as well. Some good bunker placements, looks like. Oh, this is a cool hole over here. This is part three. A little heart-shaped hole here. <laughs> Look at this a little heart shaped hole. Wow. Holy cow. All right, let's see how the golf plays, shall we? Because looking at it, I think the course is going to uh, just be spectacularly looking, you know, as we go through. But like, how does the how does the golf play? That's what I'm most. That's what I'm most caring about for this i mean it's always nice to have a pretty something pretty to look at too though don't get me wrong hey that's a good out out of there Ooh, okay all right all right all right it's a good setup there Ah, all right, we start with a par. Winds that are back here probably easily make it down uh, to this green, especially if there's a if there's a pin that has like front side location. You get the wind at your back. I bet you could get probably get into a position where you might be able to actually make like hole in one on this part four. Man, these first two holes, good tone setter. I think that's something that you really have to do uh, for your course. Like you have to draw people in here in the first like three holes. And I think that these first two do a really good job at a drivable par four with the right conditions and a nice long par three, but the whole setting is absolutely phenomenal. I'm actually going to take a spin off here and see if we can get this thing to run up the hill. I pushed it a touch. Just got to get up to the second level here. This should. Firm, firm, fast. This should get it. This should get up. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to get up onto the second tier. All right, we're four up. So we have to do six, three, six. I'm gonna give it a little bit extra juice. Not much though. This has got to get on the right line before it takes the sharp turn towards the hole at the end. That's yeah, not. It's gonna front side it, isn't it? Yep. Yep. I knew it. I dude, I knew it in the first three feet. 
I saw that came off. I saw that come off the putter, and it was like, yeah, this is gonna front side me. I would have hit it a little bit harder, or probably would have been a lot better. But, and by a lot better, I mean like in. So we start off with a drivable par four, a long par three, and then straight into a par five. That's that is a spectacular. That is a spectacular starting three holes. This is really nicely done too. You know, you got your your fast in play, your slows in play as well. We're gonna stripe it right down the middle. How about that? Wind at our back too. So this is gonna be a shorter par five. Let's see what it has for us. Three iron in. That green. Seven, seven into our into our back. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see what happens here. Oh, we red fast it. Well, I ain't going anywhere now. Except leaving me with a atrocious putt. Get off the green. Get off the green. Thank you. I would have liked to see what would happen though if I wouldn't have done that. Fast. That kind of sucks. Check up. That's it. We should be able to make this for birdie. Still not a not a tough putt, but or not an easy putt, but I'll just hit it a little firm. Get through that break. Alright, back to back par fives. Okay. It's not something you see. This is these first four holes, this has been interesting. Oh, this tree's coming into play. Oh, you're leaving me into a position where you have to hit a really good shot to get around that. We're gonna have to probably fade it around. Now we're definitely gonna have to fade it around. Yeah, bad shot. We're probably not gonna be able to get there. It's a par five, but all these overhanging trees come into play, so. Yep, yeah, we're not gonna make it there. We're not even gonna be close. We're just gonna play it safe. We'll just play it safe and we'll take a pitch up. Maybe even a flop up, honestly. work hmm look at look at this green this is spectacular good runoff here a little protection you got protection all the way on the back going into runoff areas you're probably gonna have a pin here i would guess probably a pin here maybe a pin somewhere in this region pin here you get really fucking nutty and put probably a pin down here even probably do it i'm gonna guess probably a front side mid left and then one up here and this is just going to be used as maybe a runoff area, I guess, if I had to guess. Definitely have some options, though. Shorted it. It's better than being long, though, because long would be terrible here. Having to come back up to this out of that runoff zone. Stay straight. Didn't give it enough, really. Hey, I even added a bit. All right, we par par five. Always sad. These greens are really well thought out. Like these greens, I feel were specifically thought out to give you good four round pins. Because again, it's just it's all thought out. It, you have funneling here, but also protection. You have runoff zones. Like, because if you hit a bad shot, you hit a bad shot and you're going to get punished. Probably this one, one right in the middle, and then maybe like a front side somewhere and then a back pin. Like, this is, yeah, these are really good. Might even be one out here. These greens are really well thought out for that. And there's good natural progression, too. Hit a good shot, get rewarded. Hit a bad shot, going to get punished. Maybe even hit one that's not the best and you still have a chance at it. How about we get a hole in one? <laughs> it's close. It was sloping in too. If I would have hit it a little bit harder, I, I bet that goes. I bet it goes. I do. That's good though. We'll take it. Another birdie. Two under. Put into six here. Three par fives on the front. That something you don't really see too often. A little risk reward shot here. Could probably clear this as long as we hit it good. 
We didn't. So we're going to be playing bunker over here on the right. I bet we probably make it over there if we hit perfect with it lofted up. Protection on this hole is very, very good. Even if I make it in, I guess I'd be bringing a wedge in so we'd, we could probably stick it. Actually, we'd probably be pitching in, but now I'm forced to play it somewhere down here in the right. Uh, like, I don't think I have a choice. I mean, I'm going to try to go at it as much as I can, but I got to be careful here. Good protection on this hole. Oh, this might run off. I came off way too far right. Yeah, it's gonna run. Yeah, she's gone. Alright. Got greedy. Meow. It kind of paid off. Kind of paid off. Hit her firm. We save our par. We get up and down for it. It was a bad tee shot, so I'm pretty happy with an up and down right there. Oh, nice dog leg. Get up and over that tree. Probably, right? I don't know how this is going to play down here, though. I don't know how this is going to play down here. Let's find out. Right fast at it. We would not have gotten over the tree. But it still would have played okay. Normally, you know, when I have a hole like this, again, definitely unsolicited, but when you have a hole like this, I, I'm not a huge fan of, like, overhanging trees of this nature, but on this, it absolutely works. It works on this hole, and the reason for that is is it's put in a location that isn't going to hamper you. So sometimes what you'll notice with, like, overhanging trees of this nature is, like, if this was put... A little bit further up like if this if there wasn't like a waste zone here this was put a little bit further up people who hit short clubs will put be put into a position where they're gonna get absolutely punished for it having it back here though three wood gets up there three iron gets up there especially if you play it off to the left because it, it it comes way out here on the left so while this this tree is in place just to kind of give you a little bit of extra you know things to think about when you're coming in uh for your second shot it actually works in this location. The same thing that happened on the last hole that had overhanging trees. Mainly, I just think that the way that it's done here, it, it works nicely. Which is hard to do with, uh, I think, overhanging trees of that nature. Let's see if we can uh, get this up and down here. 82%. It's going to run because it's coming out of the rough. Fast it. Wind's going to bring it back some. If we get it up here to the second level, that's all right. Course is tough if you go off the fairway. Course is very tough if you go off the fairway. You really, you really have to play this. It's just the way that it's all tiered. It kind of reminds me of the course that shall not be named. Uh, the way that these greens are tiered a little bit. And if you don't know what course I'm talking about, it's starts with an A, ends in Augusta. Starts with an A, ends in Augusta. Jesus, not what I meant to do, but this course shall not be named. Because that course tiers a lot, too. And it plays very well on the greens because of it. Oh, I need to put stronger magnets in there. Dang. phenomenal another thing that's i think very hard to pull off is a layered tier going up we'll see how it looks on our second shot but looking at this looks great waterfalls coming down too again the planting and, and going up to different different layers different tiers is hard to it's hard to pull off on courses it may be kind of tough, though, depending on what clubs you have. Because you'd have to play it up, and you don't have, like, a lot of wiggle room here. It's 
about the only thing that I don't care too much for, but with my clubs, it plays great. It's just the only thing is I'm slightly worried about people who don't have these these clubs or go for distance, how that would play if you're not able to get to the green, you know? Like playing it off onto one of those tiers, like how that would how that would actually play. I mean, the way that the, the green slopes back, though, that's phenomenal. Are you going to break? Jesus, you might not. Stay straight. Don't you do it. Hmm. Touch a ghost. I probably should have played that a little bit, seeing how it was sloped off. We still get a birdie. We still get a birdie. Oh, yeah. Great. Great hole coming back into it here on nine. I wonder which one it, that's got. A, is that 18? This is good, though. What a front nine. This front nine's been phenomenal. Get in the hole. Oh. Oh. Had a, yeah, I've had a couple of, like, puckered up moments here. What a front nine. That was a phenomenal front nine. All right, four under. Oh. Hitting us with it right off. Hundred down, huh? Damn. Damn. Good sloping how this works here. That left does come in play, though. Potentially. Again, really good protection here. Am I going to play this short-ish? I don't know how it's going to look, though, coming off my club. Yeah, I mean, played it short-ish and ended up going a perfect distance to get up to this next year. This doesn't play too bad, either. I really do think this is probably going to break a little bit more than I think it's going to, so... You just got to watch out not to hit it too hard. If we hit it too hard, there's a big slope on that back. There we go. Beauty. Absolute beauty. Walking in. Oh, yeah. Two more par fives here. It's a lot of par fives. Lots of par threes, too. Jeez, how many... What, what is this? Five par fives. Which means we get an extra par three. All right. There we go. Pushed it a little bit, but this will work out. Don't want to go in that bunker. Oh, we do not want to go in that bunker. That is the last thing we want to do. Again, these greens are just really well thought out. 64 up. Woo! I said, damn. I did loft it too much. Yep. Yeah. That's still not bad. I mean, we can play it for a chip here. Get in there? Ooh! Good thing it hit the pin, because if it didn't, that would have been terrible. <laughs> All right. Hey, we'll take it. We'll definitely take it. You kidding me? This is going to catapult. Damn. Hit the slope magically somehow. Work your way towards the hole. Damn it. Oh, that would have been so good distancing if I didn't fast it. Damn it. Make it, though. Straight now. Work your way back. Work your way back. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Dang it. 
It came off a little bit more left than I wanted it. Oh, man, I wish I would hit that perfect. Because if I hit that perfect, I think it works out a lot better. I mean, of course, it works out better. But, I mean, like, we'd be sniffing the hole, honestly. Oh, uh, good use of this. Something you don't see too often. People use sticks. Oh, this is a fun part five. Gotta hit a good shot if you want to get rewarded. Let's see how all this uh, flies down this hill. Looks. We could park here on a nice even playing field. That may not oh, man, that'd be bad. Oh, she's still going. Oh, this is gonna be a nasty lie. She's thirty down. <laughs> yeah, you need the wind at your back. It's thirty down, but I'm just gonna play off in the waste area. fasted it oh my god stop 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 i pushed the shit out of that oh my god i pushed that so bad check up somehow don't go down the hill don't go down the hill don't go down the hill just stop oh thank you oh thank you Stay straight. Stay straight. Stay straight. Stay straight. Oh my god. Oh, it's a game of inches. It is a game of inches. Still played out good though. Still. Bummer. Make it over again, right? Even with that slow, we'll be good. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're fine. Ooh, that, that hole I was looking at from the, uh, when we were flying around at the beginning. I think that's coming up. I think that's next. Yeah, that. Par 4. I don't think this is a par 3. I think that's a par 4 up there. Could be wrong, I guess, but... Get in the hole? Pretty good. Part three? Part four. Split fairway by water, par four. Or is that. No. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Because you definitely probably want to play it up over here. I don't know if I've ever seen a hole like this. I mean, you definitely want to play it up over there. But I guess you could play this back. Oh, oh, no, no, let's see. Let's see. Hang on. So if you play this back, you're looking at 109. If you play it over, you're looking at 80. I guess it depends on where the pin is located. I'm going to play it over to the right, though, for this. Um, just because I want the additional green over here to the right. Although, we pop it up over here. No, I'm going to play it up over here. I'm going to play it up over here. That way we have, we can fast it, we can slow it. And we'd probably still be safe if we did either. Bring a lob in. And. All right, we're going to, we're going to spin it. We are going to spin the shit out of this. Good. Need it. Touch more loft. But that's still really freaking good. Hit her firm. Right into the cup. Walk away with a birdie. That was a cool hole. I don't think I've seen something like that before. Not, I, not that I could think of. Par five. Should be good here. Draw it just in case. Yeah, just go right along this edge. I don't think this slopes out too much. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hell of a hole, too. Three wood in. 
Oh, God. Again, so much protection. These round four pins are so well thought out. I mean, if you in other other rounds, I'm sure there's like one here, maybe even two down here. But like this one, it has so much protection on it. It's very, very good. Very, very well thought out. Um, to the point where I gotta play, I'm gonna play this safe because the last thing I want we should be okay. It's fine. The last thing I want is to be down into this bullshit down here, putting up to it. No thanks. No thanks. Damn, I thought often that we'd be okay. Oh, this is bad. This is rocking a hard place. Um, maybe it stops. I don't know. Let's find out. I guess I can get really greedy and go straight pin. Oh no. Settle. It'll settle. Okay. Oh, that was actually kind of scary. That was a touch scary. Drivable par five, but we take a par. All right. Again, wonderful. Just gonna go five, 68. A little bit off. That three mile an hour wind we gotta deal with though too. We're gonna take it right at the pin, see what happens. Slow the shit out of it is what happens. Bunker. Bunker. That'll have to do. Damn, that's that's a bummer. I think we don't slow that. That's gonna be really, really good distancing. All right, let's go into let's go into let's go into the clubhouse. Let's see what it looks like. It was the right one. Up the hill, seventy three. What is this gonna What is this gonna look like? I'll play it off. Play it off with a draw here and try to get it right in between everything. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. It was the middle one. Hey, what? Hang on. Hold up. Hold up. One second. What hole, what hole was this? Do I not remember this hole? What hole is this? Oh. Oh. That's why I didn't quite recognize it, because I think we're teeing off here. This is 12. So 12 comes in. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I know where we're at now. Wow, I just I didn't even I I didn't even put two and two together. I must have been zoned out. I guess the 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 clubhouse is going to be off to the the right pretty heavily though. Yeah, okay. I remember now. Wow. That's really cool design there. Coming up, that's 12 coming in and 18's right dead set in the middle. All right. I'm down with it. I'm 100% down with it. I work. Not a freaking easy putt, though. Jesus. Stay high. Go out with a birdie. Nine under par here for our round today. Wow. I mean, what a freaking course that was. The only hole that I just, I would just probably have to just play it and see what it's like. The only hole is that par five with those that layered set coming up. I just don't know how I'd play like hitting it up onto like one of those tiers. That's the only thing I, that I have like have questions about how it plays. So if you guys play this and you have to end up doing that, you're gonna have to let me know how it plays because I'm really curious about that. But I mean, other than that one just questionable thing that I, I have about the course, 
this course was absolutely fucking spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. I, I don't know what else to, to say. I mean, the setting was great. The way the water was worked in. That split hole might be one of the most unique split par fours uh, I've seen in a probably a year. The par threes were really well thought out. A lot of the par fives looked very, 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 very good. They played extremely difficult to get up for an eagle. Um, a lot of the holes, if you went off the, the fairway, played extremely long and difficult. The challenge was there. The protection on the greens was there. Uh, hazard setup was, was there. I mean, the layout was great. The clubhouse is tier S+. Plus. Like, phenomenally done on the clubhouse. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, this is great. Spectacular. Give me more courses that you've made. Thank you very much. But uh, go and give this one a play. Castle Gardens. Lucky number 1289. Pretty sure is who gave it to me. <laughs> God, I hope so. Because I already said that he's the one who made it. Yeah, good stuff. I'll take more, please. But thank you so much for joining me. That's all she wrote for today. I hope you have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And I will catch you on the next one.